quote the Roman poet Horace, more durable than brass my monument shall be, and raise its head o'er royal pyramids, it shall not dread, corroding rain or angry north winds, nor the long lapse of immemorial time, I shall not wholly die. In this video, I'll show you why pen enthusiasts are drawn to brass pens. Plus, you'll see a step-by-step -step instruction on how to age your pen and clean it. Stay tuned because Goldspot is giving away several of these pre-worn pens. As Horace wrote, we build monuments that outlast us so that we may never fully die. We create art and contribute to a greater cause with the hopes that our deeds will live on. Our tools, like the humble pen, can remind us of this grander scale in a symbolic way. A pen, like this Y Studio Classic Revolve fountain pen, is made of brass and has the durability to last a lifetime, if not longer. So why is brass used in pens? Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. For pen manufacturing, brass has a relatively low melting point and is more workable than other metals like bronze or zinc. It's corrosion resistant and has a heavier weight than other common pen materials like resin and aluminum. Depending on how much zinc is present, the color of brass can range from a reddish hue to a muted golden yellow. A brass pen conveys luxury status through its golden metallic shine and hefty feel in hand. Many pens use brass as the base of its design, which is then finished in lacquer. The Y Studio Classic Revolve collection, for example, uses the same brass base with four different color lacquers. Then you have the raw brass pens that are not lacquered or varnished. They usually arrive with a polished shine or might appear slightly dulled or tarnished. This is part of the wabi-sabi charm of owning an all brass pen. To quote Leonard Corrin, who wrote a book on the topic, Wabi-sabi is exactly about the delicate balance between the pleasure we get from things and the pleasure we get from freedom of things. A writer has the option to cherish their brass pen by routinely polishing it to a bright shine, or you can let it develop a patina over time and let the pen age as you age. A third option I experimented with, distressing the brass to give it a vintage look. Okay, but before we get all mad scientists on these pens, I want to show you a few ways you can remove tarnish from brass. It is natural for brass to patina over time as it reacts to the oxygen in the air and the oils from your skin. Even a brand new pen, like this Fisher Space Bullet pen in raw brass, can exhibit a slight darkening, also called toning, right out of the box. To remove tarnish, I'm going to show you a couple of methods using materials you can find at home, as well as a product made for this specific purpose. As with any of the cleaning and aging tips I'm about to show you, try this at your own risk. Be sure to use gloves, protective eyewear, and work in a well-ventilated area to stay safe. Goldspot does not take any responsibility if you harm yourself or your pens. I'm not just about to take a lunch break in the middle of shooting a video. I'm using ketchup to remove tarnish. Apply to it to a small area to test it out. Always do that. So this pen right here is the Cross Century 2. This is actually the copper uh, Cross Century 2. It's been around for a while. It's actually a discontinued model. This was one with my name engraved on it. And as you can see, it's got quite a bit of tarnish on it. So I've tested this out before and tested on a small area and I could probably put it on a larger area here. So I've got myself a regular sh fine chef's quality packet of ketchup. I will put the ketchup on the brass. Oh, I'm dropping a little bit already. So if you could see already, there's. I'm going to kind of go towards the barrel here. So the barrel is kind of tarnished. Over here is where I already tested it. It's lifted up the tarnishing quite a bit on that area. I'm going to aim for this area here and just put the ketchup on like a hot dog and just roll it around in the ketchup here. Put maybe a little bit more and just let it sit for about a minute or so. And then what we'll do is we're just gonna take a paper towel. You can also use a polishing cloth if you'd like, but I'd like to use a paper towel because then my polishing cloth is going to smell like ketchup. So I'm going to then take this and just rub the barrel. And 
And as you can see, the bottom half of the pen, just a little bit below where the top part kind of gets put on here, and the rest of it is polished and significantly lighter than the darkened area of which is still tarnished here. So if I wanted to, I could do the whole entire thing in ketchup, but we have our next tip, which we're going to use another common household item, toothpaste. So we have a toothpaste and a toothbrush. It's good enough to polish your pearly whites, it's good enough to use on your brass pen. So we're going to use it on this cross pen again. You don't really need gloves for this part either, but it's just always good to have them on just in case, you know. Um, so I'm going to try to get to this area here, which has got my name engraved on it. I'm going to just brush the toothpaste on. Toothpaste has a very gentle, very mild abrasive. And this is of course an old toothbrush that is used for cleaning things, not used for brushing my own teeth. Um, that would kind of be weird. Wouldn't want to do that. So we're just gonna wipe it down. And instead of smelling like ketchup, this is smelling very minty fresh right now. And I could keep going at it to really polish it up to a shine, but you can see that already you actually can read my name now on this pen and that it's lightened up significantly to comparing it to this area that's right here, which is still dark, which I left untouched on the barrel here. So um, yeah, of course, like for this demonstration, I'm not going to go you know, in such a detailed way that I'll be working at this for a while. I'm just doing this like a couple of minutes, quick little demonstration just to show you that the principle works. It's just a matter of taking a very tarnished pen and then polishing it up to a glossy new shine. So just for me taking a few minutes to do this and already making progress is good and then you could take it that extra level to make it super, super nice and polished. And last we have the tarnish remover, Tarnex. So this is the stuff that you could buy over the counter and this is the kind of stuff that you would definitely want to be more careful with. So this is, gloves are warranted in this case. So what I would do here is you could use either a polishing cloth like the ones we have at Goldspot. This is one that our photographer Josh uses and it's been used many, many times over to polish lots of pens prior to taking beautiful photographs of them. So he lent me this uh, very worn towel and, uh, and instructed me with its care. So we're going to take the Fisher Space Pen Bullet which has got a little bit of uh, that darkening that I was mentioning just right around the cap there. So we're gonna just take the cap off and we're going to shake up the Tarnex. We'll put a little bit on, this is, a, this is more of a thicker uh, side of it, the darker piece that's here. This is a connoisseur's uh, jewelry cloth that we have custom made with the Gold Spot logo on it, of course. And we're just gonna coat the cap. And since the cap is relatively new, it just came out of the box like that, the tarnish seems to be removing itself fairly quickly. So I just had to basically just wipe it down, just drying it off. And it kind of smells sulfurous a bit. So it's kind of got that like rotten egg sort of smell about the Tarnex here. Um, if it's better than ketchup, I don't think it's, I think ketchup's better. But there you go. It's been polished up. So there's no more darkening here. I could buff it out a little bit more just to get the really nice bright shine to it. But you get the idea. It's very simple to add on. It just then wipes right off and you could get a nice shiny finish minus the tarnish on your brass pens. Usually brass takes a long time to darken and develop a patina. If this type of aesthetic is more pleasing to you, then never worry about polishing it. Let's say you don't want to wait the months or years it may take to develop the patina. I'll show you a shortcut using inexpensive household ingredients. Please remember to be safe and try this at your own risk. My subjects for this experiment are the Retro 51 Raw Brass Tornado Rollerball Pen and a Fisher Space Pen Raw Bullet Ballpoint Pen. If your pens are not brand new right out of the box, clean the brass surface with a little dish soap and water before proceeding. Make sure they are clean and dry. I disassembled the Fisher Space Pen, removing the front section, refill, and spring. 
For the Retro 51 pen, I removed just the refill and spring. At the time, I thought using tape would protect the clip and the top disc. As you'll find out, I was wrong. Using protective gloves, I applied a mixture of distilled white vinegar and salt to a paper towel. Then I coated each pen by rolling it in the towel. I placed each pen part in the middle of an empty plastic to-go food container. Then I filled several plastic shot glasses with ammonia and put a lid on the container. I left the container outside overnight. After a couple of hours, I noticed the colors started to change. Out of curiosity, I wanted to see just how far I could take it. Taking out the pens after 18 hours, the results were dramatic and slightly disturbing. The brass turned shades of dark brown, black, and light blue. Immediately, I noticed the Retro 51 clip did not survive the aging process. Good news though, the patient was saved thanks to a clipectomy. It required a pair of spark plug pliers and an ample amount of patience and hand strength. Like and comment on this video if you want me to show you just how I did it. The surface of both the Fisher and Retro 51 pen became gritty with texture from the layers of patina. To smooth out the rough areas and create a distressed look, I used a piece of sandpaper and the polishing techniques mentioned earlier. With enough polishing, it is possible to lighten the brass and reverse the effects of the patina. It is worthwhile to note the inside barrel threads of the Fisher pen became crusted and needed to be polished to properly screw on the front grip section. Polishing was also needed on the threads of the Retro 51 where it connects with the nose cone. If I did it all over again, I would have checked hourly and removed the pens as soon as I saw the desired blue coloration. I would have also removed the clip from the Retro 51 pen. In addition to the brass patina changing the complexion of your pen, Y Studio invites you to remove the lacquer of the classic Revolve fountain pen by including a 600 grit piece of sandpaper with the pen. To remove the lacquer, rub the pen's faceted barrel and cap on the flattened piece of sandpaper until the desired effect is achieved. The lacquer isn't easy to remove, so you'll need some patience and a little elbow grease to style your pen. Fair warning, you won't be able to undo the process. Once the lacquer is sanded off, there's no putting it back on. So here's what a new Y Studio Classic Revolve fountain pen looks like without me taking sandpaper to it. This is what the green one looks like, and this is the one that will be up for giveaway at the end of this video. Now that my hands smell like a bag of pennies, I'd like to share with you the bonus fact that raw brass pens are also antimicrobial. Studies show that while pathogens are capable of living on other inanimate surfaces for days or months, brass's copper content kills them in hours. So if you're gonna lend a pen to someone and have concerns about transferring germs, a brass pen will eliminate most of those microbes naturally without the use of disinfectant chemicals. To be extra careful, you'll want to leave the pen untouched for a few hours after the person last used it. Plus, wiping it down with soapy water won't hurt either. To demonstrate the amazing qualities of brass pens, I picked out some of my favorites that we regularly offer on the Goldspot Pens website, including the Fisher Space Pen, Raw Brass Bullet, the Retro 51 Raw Brass Tornado, these both we subjected to the Patina Experiment. There are plenty of other great brass writing instruments out there, so we created a page on the Goldspot website where you can browse our entire brass pen collection using the link in the description below. All right, kitties, giveaway time. Enter for a chance to win this customized Y Studio Classic Revolve Fountain Pen, this aged Retro 51 Brass Tornado Rollerball Pen, or this aged Fisher Space Pen Bullet Pen featured in this video. To put your name in the hat, you need to do three things. Subscribe to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment below on which brass pen do you think looks the coolest. We'll pick three random winners on Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Good luck to all who enter in the giveaway. If you'd like to see more of the best ballpoint pens, check out our top five ballpoint pens video here. Now that you hacked the outside of your Retro 51 brass pen, you can hack the refill to write with fountain pen ink and I show you in this video here. Hit the subscribe button for more fine writing videos right there. Thank you for watching and stay inky my friends, take care.